Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Jay Sick, and I am here with Butch Patrick. And, I mean, where do you begin with something so timely and so classic like this? What do you, what's going on in life? How are things? How was the convention? Um, my OCD makes me arrange pictures like this yeah, yeah, in the middle of interviews. You can be here all day doing that. <laughs> Every time somebody comes up, they get the OCD. <laughs> What um what's going on, man? How how are things? It's good. This is I think this is the 25th anniversary of Chiller and the 50th anniversary of the Munsters. I actually did the first Chiller, uh, and I've seen it grow over the years. So it's always fun to keep an eye on it. Met some new friends, um, a lot of new celebrities. This is a great room for the 60s and 70s shows, and a little bit of the 80s. Um, yeah, I, I come here to meet a lot of old friends and meet some new friends. So it's been really good. Munsters has been a really good show, especially around Halloween. Where where are you living right now? In this area or? Midwest. I spend a lot of time back here, but I actually my address is actually Manhattan Beach, California. Oh, okay. But I'm on the road almost all the time, so sometimes I even wonder where I'm at. <laughs> um, the nostalgia yeah. of the Munsters is is epic. There's 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 no denying it. No matter how old generations get, no matter how many years down the road, as long as there is film existing, no one is going to ever forget the Munsters. How does that sit with you? Like, how do you handle something that epic? Well, actually, I, I embrace it myself. It's, I mean, I'm very lucky. I, I have a lot of gratitude for that show. And the 60s itself, I worked from 61 to 72, 60 to 72. That decade was just a really good time for some quality television. It was like the golden age of television because the 50s was sort of like radio being done on TV. But the 60s, they actually came up with the formula to make it work. And some of the best writing and some of the best talent was uh, doing sitcoms back then. And it was very much of escapism shows. Uh, I did My Favorite Martians and Mr. Ed's and I Dream of Genies, things that people just wanted to laugh about. And they... Uh, I think that's why people re relate to them now because it was a time when they felt better about things and it's a, it's a good memory. Now, Rob Zombie, are you familiar? Yes, okay. Of course. He's a huge fan. Um, you know, he made the Dragula, he made things. Have you had any interaction with him? Have you had any kind of working relationship with him? Is there anything possibly going on with you guys, you and Rob Zombie, anything like that? Or what kind of, you know, that's a, that's a very big. Uh, icon in music and to have his references in his music and right. thousands of people every show see this reference I mean is there something that comes from that like what do you, what do you think about well that? I've had the pleasure of meeting Rob at a concert in Philadelphia about seven maybe six seven years ago and um, I know I know a lot of the people from his movies you know Bill Mosley and Sid Haig and you know and, uh, and a lot of other PJ souls and stuff so I admire his work I really am not a, a, a huge fan of the, the horror movie genre believe it or not but I love his music, especially, and um, yeah, I would love to work with Rob someday. So hopefully, uh, I know he's a Munsters fan. Him and Howard get into it sometimes on Munster Trivia. It's hilarious. Howard Stern, if they, you know, the, the Howard. But yeah, it's good to be part of a show that so many people have found endearing. And the biggest kick that I get now are the kids, 10 and under, coming up to the table that know the show, like the show, and watch it with their parents and their grandparents. You get a lot of young kids dressed yes. as Eddie Munster coming up to you? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, what... Out of all of this, you know, that you've been doing, how did you actually get the call? Like, how did the, how did you become Eddie Munster prior to whatever acting career? Like, what when did you know you were going to be playing the role of him, and how did that unfold? It was a last-minute deal. I had done a year at General Hospital, and I did, had done a year with The Real McCoys, and I was in Illinois, and they called me and said, get on a plane. We have a screen test for you with Yvonne DiCarlo. There's this show called The Munsters, and they're looking to tweak it at the last second with a new mom and a new kid. And she and I tested together, and they hired us both on the spot. My life changed forever. Yeah, I was going to say, one phone call, and that one changes phone. it all. That did. Um, you know, I, I could sit here for years. I don't want to sit here for too long and take up too much of your time. Um, what's the future hold? What's going down? Right here's a good example. Two little kids coming in that know The Munsters. I love it. They're, they're into us. <laughs> a next generation. And it's funny because I'm so lucky to be part of a show that just hit a nerve. Um, the timing was good. The cast was good. The writing was good. All the things came together. The, 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 the planets aligned, for uh, lack of a better word. And uh, it's been 50 years. And I imagine it's going to be on for another 50. I know it is, of course. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much. I'm Jay Sick, and I'm here with Butch Patrick. You guys have a nice day and stay tuned.